Yes, sir. Uh, yes, so a very good evening to everybody and uh, let us uh, start what we were talking about. Uh, music therapy and what we covered yesterday uh, is, the, is the base of uh, music therapy, like uh, uh, how to design and structure the therapeutic part. And as I was just discussing with Christian sir, that the music is powerful in any role, right? We are moving in uh, uh, trains and buses and people are, boys are putting, everybody is putting earphones and it is, it is giving some impact, some soothing, some entertaining, some aesthetic uh, contribution at that time too. But this is a therapeutic condition, so we have to really be minutely analytical about what is the client, and how different things like the personality, the situation, the mood, the self-concept, the uh, the season, the timings, the uh, uh, approaches which, which are imbibed in that particular client whom you are going to apply um, this thing. And then uh, these, these, uh, these things plus there may be many more other factors also which we need to consult before and uh, yesterday, yes, uh, uh, someone asked about dementia, right? Yes, of course. Uh, whether this is dementia, this is ADHD, autism, any learning disability, uh, stress, depression, uh, any physical element or whatever is the condition. Those things which we covered yesterday, they always are very, very important. Always are very, very important. So first, let's just give a throw a glance at dementia um, uh, as such because we were supposed to cover it uh, today. Uh, as everybody knows that this is a degenerative neurological uh, state which generally proceeds with age, right? And then loss of memory is something which is um, which is the major uh, characteristic of uh, state of dementia. People, they, they lose the sense of space, the time, uh, the weather, their own self, their own uh, activities and uh, decision making is uh, almost very poor. Uh, they forget, yes, forgetting small, small things is something very normal, but this is, this is beyond control in their cases. And um, problem solving is far, far, uh, from them and uh, uh, those things which they have been doing uh, till now suddenly they find that this is something strange uh, uh, which they which, which they cannot handle so uh, a complete picture of dementia in a way we can say this is characterized by people having uh, having or proceeding towards uh, slow or reaching to a very uh, acute state where the complete memory loss is there. And uh, the thing is uh, what to do, how to take them out, and what kind of music therapy is going to be effective here. So uh, first we'll see that uh, what is music going to do for them, those people who are memory loss. Uh, the purpose is to bring their memory to music therapy to apply in such a way so that they are they are able to or they are moving in the direction of bringing their memories back and then um, uh, one of the important thing which we will um, design in uh, music therapy station for those elderly especially primarily elderly people who are into this state of um, dementia is that um, try to find out what is the what is the interesting music for them interesting which uh, which uh, really they make that they are 
involved into that, which really makes them active so that they think about those memories, those associations which are related with that interesting uh, song or interesting music or interesting, interesting dance or instrument, whatever it is. So the thing is sometimes, sometimes or many of the times they are not able to tell that this is my interesting music. So exploring uh, is very important um, aspect. How do you explore? Um, maybe that uh, you try to go to the music library or to, to those things which are closer to those people. What kind of cassettes are there? What kind of tape record tapes are there? Uh, you can find out some information that maybe that this is the kind of music which he or she has been interested in. Sometimes this may not be possible. Then try to equate the age of your um, uh, client and see uh, at this age when he or she was young, uh, that era of music was in. And then try to bring those uh, musical pieces so that uh, assuming that uh, the client's memories gets activated. So uh, these kind of things are there, but these are the hypothesis because you never know. Maybe he's not in position to tell me that this is the music which I like. So you have to do installation part. Okay, what can be the what can be the music? Because you have to make that music which is closer to her heart, which is closer to her association's memories, because that that uh, music is going to uh, bring back uh, the memory part of your make cognitively active your client and then uh, making uh, making them back to the uh, consciousness or the awareness. Um, sometimes it happens that you have done a lot of work and you have found out the music and you, you are sure that this is going to be interesting. But it's still, uh, once you start playing, just see the body language of your client. Whether uh, he or she is tapping, the fingers tapping the foot, humming along with the music, doing the head like this thing, or clapping, or showing some, some sort of bodily movements, that gives you some uh, idea, uh, some information that yes, perhaps this is the music which was required here. Otherwise, what happens? Many of the times we, we do this homework and then we try to find out. But as soon as you start playing the music, you find that the client is distressed is is not finding it comfortable so uh, make sure that you are there to start with to find out to confirm that yes this was the thing which is uh, which is important uh, we'll be discussing in detail that there are different neurotransmitters which are released uh, as far as uh, music uh, is concerned and dopamine is that transmitter which is released by the music and, and the purpose of this, the release of the mind is to uh, make the client cognitively active. Why? Because dopamine is released when there are those activities which are pleasurable to us. And anything which has, which has uh, pleasure to me is going to have my associations, some emotional, emotional part. Because uh, anything uh, or everything cannot be interesting to me. So just see the relationship that the, the, those uh, musical pieces which are interesting to that elderly person, those musical pieces, they are going to give pleasure to him, a feeling of pleasure. And as a result, the, the release of dopamine is there, which ultimately leads to activating the attention part. Just, just see, attention is one of the cognitive element. Uh, dopamine release, uh, uh, makes the person notice the memory, remember the memory, memory is please recall the memory, and maybe sometimes he, he or she discusses Ma the memory. Man, right? man, man. So, uh, dear words, yes. Yeah, it's yes. voice is breaking and uh, it's getting sad. Okay. So from this side, this is breaking. It's breaking. Hello. 
Yeah, ma'am. Internet connection is uh, weak. Yes. Just a minute, sir. Yeah. In case we are not able to follow something, we will let you know, ma'am. I think otherwise you continue. Is that fine, Krishna? No, it, it was not the words were breaking. So, so that is why I said that. Even, even now, your voice is also breaking in. Your, your voice oh, is also so, breaking. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So... I mean, we'll continue if the direct check out will Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is, it, is it better now? No. Yes, please. Okay. It's okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, this, there is some. Uh, hello. Hello. Um. Uh. Uh. Still saying the same thing. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, man, condition. I can listen. Hello. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you okay. go ahead, ma'am. You go ahead. Okay. Okay. Let's. Okay. It's okay. It's audible now. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, uh, like, uh, yes, we were talking about, uh, uh, we have to design uh, the music therapy for uh, elderly people, uh, those who are in the state of dementia. And then uh, we were just talking about the dopamine, the release of dopamine. It activates them cognitively. Why? Because uh, uh, music is, uh, you have done all that background like what we uh, discussed yesterday that is all the background which you have done but, uh, you got through the complete matching and found out what is the musical preference right so with all that background now what happened you uh, hypothesize that this kind of music is going to release uh, dopamine dopamine is going to activate attention attention is going to lead activation of memories and how this, this is going to do uh, uh, contribute to the health of our uh, dementia people, the loved ones, right? So, uh, am I audible now? Yes, ma'am. Audible, sir? Perfect, ma Perfect. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, okay. Ma okay, so now let's make a move. Just a minute, sir.
uh, Harshul, some other trouble. Okay. Uh, this is an app which has been designed by one of the music therapists. And the purpose of this uh, app, this is Sing Fit app. And this app has been designed for the cognitive and physical stimulation of those people who are into the state of dementia. Right? Program is especially uh, designed for them. Uh, uh, senior living and it has lot of information, lot of information as to what kind of music, what kind of situation, how does it contribute to the uh, cognitive and physical stimulation, which is the need in the case of uh, uh, dementia. Uh, let's say, as uh, as we were talking about the other physical elements, whether this is cancer or this is heart trouble or this is in a way any physical element. Of course, the, the main um, the therapy, the main uh, medication part is already going on, but that emotional part, that uh, that cognitive part can always be uh, taken care of by music therapy, whichever way. Well, like let's say cancer. Just the diagnosis and the and the and the um, uh, information that this is what this is the state which I am. Then different radiotherapy, chemotherapy, all these things they are uh, highly stressful, uh, having negative uh, emotions. So uh, going to the preference of that people, uh, going to all those background factors, that finding out the, the, this is what exactly suits suits to this particular person then we can always design the music program. So whatever therapy is there, this is already going on. But for looking after the emotional and the psychological health, I think this should be made compulsory for all um, uh, physical ailments also. Uh, ADHD, this is a very common, uh, common situation these days. Uh, attention deficit uh, and then of course hyperactivity, uh, especially in the children. And as, as the, uh, uh, the word itself the, the, uh, it says that attention is, attention is deficit. So what we were doing for uh, dopamine release for the cognitive stimulation, we can do, we can use that here also. Uh, and that is what, what is designing the music. ADHD is a child or is a person who has really uh, got derailed out of his or her linear path, right? Uh, 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 excitability is there, uh, over impulsivity is there, and uh, uh, these kind of things which are which do not have the, the reasons behind them, but they are uh, highly observable there. So uh, music provides a kind of structure, and that structure comes out of the rhythm. Like uh, you just put the ADHD child into a rhythm, and that rhythm will give that structure, and the structure is going to give comfort to the brain of that child who is struggling with ADHD. Uh, and otherwise also like music, music is confined to time factor. Why? Because uh, every music, it has mukla, sthai, antara. If you go to the technic technical language, that is the beginning, the middle, the end. And uh, uh, putting the child into um, individualized needs, the needs like all the all other factors taken into consideration, putting the ADHD child to music therapy is going to uh, put him on the on that particular rail, on that particular line which he has got derailed from, right? So dopamine is very important here also. Just see power of music uh, as uh, we were discussing with uh, I was discussing with Trishan sir. Power of music is very very relevant. It can be. Uh, it can come from any kind of music anywhere, right? But once we do talk about music therapy, it has to go individualized based, individualized needs with the, with the, uh, with the uh, technical setting, with the particular method and with a lot of matching as far as the uh, background factors in designing the therapy is concerned. This is power of music. Um, brain gets activated and here we do talk about uh, one of the acronym which I have uh, I have made for myself that is DOSE. D-O-S-E. DOSE as we have already seen, B part is uh, dopamine. Uh, just see Confucius, one of our um, philosophers says music produces a kind of pleasure 
which human nature cannot do without the kind of pleasure what is that pleasure and that is why every time it is being said matching the matching preference the matching preference it has to be there any music uh, picking up from anywhere will may not work so uh, dopamine is a reward drug a reward drug in a way that uh, it it is triggering it is activating both those parts of your brain which do release uh, this uh, neurotransmitter and that release is possible why because this is a pleasurable activity for you and pleasurable pleasurable activity uh, it activates your emotions it activates your cognition so just see how how powerful um, this uh, music therapy is the other thing is oxytocin this is a bonding drug which is which is being uh, uh, released by music uh, just pay pay some attention and give me the answer whenever there is any social function any social function in india anywhere why is music always played there what 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 may be the reason anybody would like to guess can any social function be completed without music in normal course perhaps not why yes uh, jeevan ji you would like to yeah uh, yeah i think is give a sense of celebration uh, uh, thing and uh, uh, yeah it's festival mood uh, i think so festival uh, we have the light and sound both i think we have uh, in every uh, festivals we have both light and sound and as you said yeah so uh, this uh, is giving sense of uh, enjoyment sense of uh, happiness and uh, uh, yeah so i think that's the happy uh, mood which they yeah 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 very right uh, uh, jeevan ji you have given uh, yes manjula ji yes to express their moods ma'am whether it is celebration or it, whether it is a bad thing maybe death so to express their mood accordingly they will play the music absolutely exactly exactly very good yes sit that's down exact, to... that's exactly yeah. what i wanted to say yeah. just like majula because i think when we have a marriage or a wedding in uh, the family the shehnai or what we call in the south the nadaswaram the rag that is played it sets the tone and the mood for the day it's like in the morning when we play the suprabhat you know that sets the tone and the mood for the whole day so exactly. i think music really kind of creates that mood also when it is not even existing exactly exactly so just see yes. uh, how much how much it, it is contributing and then the literature of music says that uh, music is is something which is secreting uh, oxytocin oxytocin is a bonding drug and the reason for any social function every social function to have music is that music creates social bond between all those people who have come to uh, uh, celebrate for the celebration in the social gathering they all meet each other and and music is there in the, in, in, the, in the surrounding everybody and what is music doing music is secreting the bonding drug so that everybody enjoys with each other so that everybody Uh, 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 celebrates uh, as uh, jeevan ji said everybody celebrates everybody enjoys apart from of course entertainment mood enhancement uh, giving this feeling that i am there with you because it's not always uh, a happy uh, this thing there are various occasions as uh, 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 we can see even in in the uh, death time also some sort sort of uh, music is uh, uh, like in uh, uh, india and north india the people when they take the body to that they just keep chanting on the way uh, ram naam satya hai ram naam satya hai. so that means every gathering whenever there are, there is gathering there is something there is some music and all, all the uh, the whole area of uh, folk music uh, this is concerned with this only the culture based uh, for every occasion for uh, for birth for marriage for mundan for janeu for whatever is the function there is uh, uh, that kind of music so uh, oxytocin is released when we do talk about uh, music therapy and the function of oxytocin uh, the function of music is uh, increasing oxytocin and uh, this is uh, this is giving us that state where everybody relates oneself to each other uh, they enjoy with each other they they have a feeling of cohesion with each other 
they have a feeling of connectedness uh, with each other and especially these things are very very uh, uh, like apparent when we do talk about um, receptive kind of music there are two kinds of one is the active when you yourself are singing the other one is the receptive when you are sitting like maybe some show is going on you are sitting with so many people and then you have an a, a sort of in feeling for all those it's in group kind of feeling all those who are sitting there and who are watching the uh, performer you identify with the performer also uh, you, sometimes you are emotionally attached with the with the performer who server is there so engagement communication interaction all these things are uh, highly uh, released out of uh, music and um, uh, literature says that human being is genetically wired to be social to be connecting type of uh, person and music uh, agrees with that and adds to that so in a way oxytocin is released this is a happy hormone dopamine is a happy hormone so uh, music is doing these things for us then there is a part that is serotonin this is a confidence drug uh, if we go to the parma model of seligman what does he say he says that positive emotion engagement relationship meaning and then of course that feeling of wow kya baat hai the, Uh, you you are uh, whether you are in a condition of active music or you are in a condition of passive music in both way uh, you feel that uh, there was a purpose and you are enjoying out of fulfillment of that purpose why because this is meaningful this is uh, this is giving you some sense this is your pleasurable activity so just see it's not just entertainment so much it is doing and once it is giving you a comp- accomplishment like suppose you are a performer take small small uh, challenges as far as musical performances are uh, given to you uh, let's say it's is your client is a child it's a group of children so give them a small small goals to perform musically and when they perform uh, give a kind of pat or shabash or very good and that is how it is going to and that way not only musical activity any activity can be included but yes in any any form whether this is active or passive music uh, is uh, purposeful meaningful and gives a sense of accomplishment so that way it is giving you the complete package of parma then this is uh, endorphin endorphin is a, a painkiller you don't need to take any crocin if uh, that music is there so many of the cases where you see that uh, some sort of pain is there because endorphin gets released after music and uh, that uh, music what does it do it, it blocks the, the pain and induces a feeling of celebration induces the feeling of um, uh, mood enhancement so in a way uh, endorphin is also a pain killing drug which is being released by uh, music so the complete package that is dose dopamine oxytocin serotonin and then endorphins they combine together they are the happy hormones and when they are secreted uh, lots of uh, counseling goals they are majorly taken care of for example depression stress uh, worries anxieties fear the release of those it is going to uh, uh, regulate those factors as far as uh, the, the the part on music therapy is concerned music takes us from chaos to calm state like uh, many a times like what is exact let let's talk about the the goal for which you are going to apply music therapy goal is either cognitive majorly which is out of control emotional which is out of control social which is out of control spiritual which is out of control physical which is out of control and music has the power to regulate all these things how by controlling your physiological as well as your psychological mechanisms uh, how does what uh, what does it do and how does it do it lowers down the blood pressure in a way it modulates it slows down the pulse rate in a way it mod, uh, modulates and regulates and that is how uh, it uh, it it makes the uh, system relax and uh, relaxation is something which takes you from confusion to more uh, clear state 
what is chaos chaos is confusion chaos is diffusion so uh, these physiological measures they do contribute to your state of chaos and music has the music therapy has the power to uh, work over them to relax the uh, muscles overall and um, here uh, i would say that uh, one of a very important legend uh, tanchen i would uh, just uh, share one episode that uh, yesterday also we did uh, talk about that that he uh, discovered he made rag darbari and the function of uh, darbari rag was to relax everybody by modulating their physiological measures so or whatever or by, by lowering down the cortisol level so, and increasing the happy hormones and uh, rag darbari let's see the, the composition of swords and just try to be your own experiential uh, learning whether it does in your case or not right okay so we'll make a move to rag darbari just feel it darbari and i would say that um, it's not necessary that we go to that classical um, part but whichever music which we use like suppose the purpose is to relax the client and all those background information they they give you this um, uh, uh, this information that yes darbari is perfect in in the case of this person then you can always uh, uh, go for some devotional song in uh, rag darbari some folk song in darbari or some bollywood song uh, some carnatic music some hindustani music uh, uh, song in rag darbari because composition of swars they are going to remain the same and then this this is going to create the state of relaxation in somnia right uh, this is a uh, um, major uh, problem which uh, majority of the people they are uh, suffering these days uh, because of stress otherwise and because of this covid 19 uh, adding to uh, the amount of stress there used to be a time when only elderly or the elder uh, they used to complain ki neend nahi aati but now this is such a uh, disorder it will find even young people yesterday we saw that slide that depression that that child he was having sleep uh, disturbed sleep patterns so uh, music therapy is uh, has the full claim to deal with the people in insomnia cases and then after uh, the individualized information is complete uh, this is one of the study where 30 participants they were taken they were divided into two groups 15 15 all these 30 they were having high uh, sleep disturbance and uh, they were divided into two groups 15 was the experimental group and the other 15 was the control group and uh, this experimental group it was given bedtime music and music was uh, quietening of mind this was the piece quietening of mind which was low very low just audible but having full impact so it was quietening of uh, mind music which was given uh, just before bedtime for 45 minutes for two weeks and after two weeks uh, both the groups experimental and control group they were compared and it was found that quality of sleep uh, in those groups which was uh, given music therapy it was found to be Uh, significantly better than the quality of sleep in the control group S question is uh, what uh, what does it do what we have done here we have created pre bed relaxation through music therapy like right. just see this is music assisted relaxation therapy which we gave at the time of pre sleep well he is he is not having sleep but he has to go for sleep so once he goes to sleep uh, before that 
giving this kind of relaxation for 45 minutes it was found to have uh, wonderful results and in many of the cases researchers they have also shown that uh, even in the hospitalized patients maybe they are they were hospitalized for some other reason but uh, music therapy uh, was uh, applied and was found to be effective in giving them healthy musical uh, healthy uh, hygiene as far as sleep was concerned and then yes uh, there are various episodes which do uh, tell us and empirically also this is validated but here i would uh, i would share one of the uh, episode this was uh, quite quite a long time back as back as 1930 musolini the dictator of italy he was the one who was suffering from insomnia acute in insomnia and then he consulted various physicians and various uh, doctors they might have tried their best medicines but nobody could make any difference then one of the great legends of um, uh, our uh, classical music pandit onkar nath thakur uh, he could meet him uh, somewhere how i don't know and then he 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 said that okay give me half an hour and for half an hour he took he recited uh, uh, alap in uh, one of the raga which was puriya thanashri and then it was found that just after half an hour uh, musolni was having sound sleep sound sleep which he would have otherwise not even thought about that and when he got awake he asked him why uh, what what magical thing it was so that is that is the music therapy and uh, i would like to make you also have an experience of uh, how to control insomnia in yourself i know that nobody is going to have insomnia but experience it on yourself and then apply it to others so this is rag puriya dhanashri just relax and uh, experience it combination of melody and rhythm the way the rhythm it goes uh, it really as if it is directly working on the uh, sleep patterns of individuals it's, it's, it was not just a simple playing rhythm it was a uh, mixing of uh, uh, melody and rhythm in a fantastic way which can which can uh, really uh, you feel that it is tapping here uh, it is tapping like this like this as soothing you and making you sleep so that 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 kind of thing you can always use but every time i would say that background information it has to be there the matching information it has to be there music preferences it has to be there because then only the active involvement would be there and then only it would do wonders rest music improves cognitive functions so since last 3 days we have been uh, seeing in different ways that how is music um, therapy it, it is inducing cognitive uh, performance uh, last to last uh, slide we saw the dopamine is a pleasurable activity dopamine uh, is released and the release of dopamine it uh, it activates attention which activates other cognitive variables too so uh, this the, here the, it says that uh, for impairment or for non performance on cognitive function what do you think what may be the what may be the major reason behind that anybody would like to share everything is perfect physiologically psychologically everything is perfect but uh, still cognitive 
commerce is not that active is not up to the mark why because at the back of everything is the stress which is is still in the unhealthy state the stress is something understandable but whether this is healthy stress or this is unhealthy stress so unhealthy stress is always obstructs the cognitive performance um, your memory your reasoning your problem solving decision making your executive function your language and your perception and your so many other attention so many other factors cognitive factors they are hampered why because uh, the stress through your manageable through your resources available sources you are not able to convert the uh, uh, level of your stress into healthy stress and that is how a lot of cortisol is increased and music uh, decreases the uh, release of cortisol and then uh, this therapy it always adds to cognitive performance um there are again there are various ragas but i don't have rag bhopali with me but yes rag bhopali is, is the rag which claims for the cognitive fertility uh music therapy it works as tranquilizer you don't have to sedate give any sedatives theek hai kitne sare like uh, sedatives which are part of these days even youngsters they do take it why because stress is unmanageable so by putting them into the sedative states if they feel that uh, yes it is it is better they are feeling better they are feeling good so uh, music therapy it works as a tranquilizer it sedates and then there is no need to medicate your uh, yourself or your client through anything and here i would say the impact of uh, uh, music therapy not only in the human beings but it has been uh, empirically validated in case of uh, animals also sometimes wild animals sometimes and here i would play a, a video for you where there is a girl uh, and some uh, elephant female elephant is going to attack the girl but then this person he uses music in such a way that that uh, elephant is under control and he just sits like an obedient child otherwise he was quite furious he was out of uh, uh, control uh, attacking coming to attack that uh, young girl so they were just see it and and uh, equate it how how uh, and in what situations you can use these things that was the power of music therapy like uh, i have tried to cover various uh, primary areas where music therapy different ways in which music therapy uh, different goals which are achieved by music therapy but still uh, there are many more areas which can still be included in the in the list yes so this is sound therapy again something which is included within music therapy because the origin of music is sound so uh, there is no need to uh, differentiate them but here one thing i would like to say that music sound therapy is even uh, more classic older than the music therapy but the way music therapy has been advocated sound therapy was not advocated as yet but now in the coming time sound therapy is also uh, playing its role and sometimes more effectively than the music therapy and uh, uh, here i would uh, i would like to cover what what was missed uh, on the first day due to some uh, internet uh, disconnection uh, it is the five elements all of them they have their own vibrations they all they all have their own sounds and uh, the the 
different packages of music therapy the now they are using those vibroacoustic uh, uh, complications or vibroacoustic specifications in the music therapy uh, yes this is what uh, the five elements shiti jal pavak gagan samira that is earth water uh, fire then the sky and then air right so uh, i would play the first um, video and just see what is uh, we have been talking about just audible just audible just see what is just audible see your threshold level okay to the other one. intermittent sound vibrations five elements and i would always recommend that whenever you design your music therapy package uh, and as we we have already seen that day that every element has its own psychological impact also so uh, depending upon the kind of impact you want to create or you uh, what is the goal of your uh, uh, therapy uh, always focus or pick up any pick up any uh, vibro acoustic uh, vibrations sounds and put them into the music therapy part and uh, they will they will uh, create a harmonious balance between mind and body right so uh, uh, let's make a move to the other activity uh, which we were uh, doing yesterday and then we had to continue or uh, discontinue it in between so uh, you uh, the third one we'll do and then we'll conclude the whole thing
Now design, the third one, whom would you like to give it? What would be your subject or what would, who would be your client when you will decide to give this third one? Yes, Manjula. Ma'am, uh, first the note is like Krishna's uh, Venu. That, ma first of all, it is very romantic and uh, it can be given in order to enhance the bonding, in order to bring out the memories. Maybe it can be given to dementia patient uh, to bring out his or her memories into the present. Right. And one thing, uh, Manjula, you have really raised a very relevant thing. And one thing I would like to add, you can give it to uh, dementia, you can give it to all those clients who are with you for depression also. Oh, for depression yeah. also, right? Yeah. So, uh, yes, so now uh, the thing is that uh, there are three things. Uh, one is the Damru, the other one is the uh, Shank, and the third one is uh, a fruit. So, as far as this Damru is concerned, just see, uh, just see, this is Damru and Sound Therapy Studio, which is uh, running in Ahmedabad. And, uh, email it, the site is something uh, u something like that. And this is the logo, uh, Dabru, the sound of health. And uh, they are using it as, as, as the music therapy. They are designing their packages on Dabru. Uh, just see the structure of Dabru. Like why, what is, what is this thing? Why are we taking up Dabru? Just see the structure of Dabru. Like, there are three, four things which are very, very important according to Shiv Puran. Shiv Puran yes. says that Damru is the origin of spiritual energy. It, it has originated from that. Number two, uh, a tap on Damru, it has created the language which is known as Sanskrit. So it is the origin of Sanskrit. The third thing and the primary thing is uh, the tap on Damru this is uh, where the Nada, Nada has emerged, which is the origin point of Sangeet music. And then one thing very, very important here is, uh, if I would ask you, how does the structure of Damru define the uh, creation of universe? Maybe that uh, it would be, it would be a real, uh, real, a real uh, tough job, but just see the structure. The upper part of Damru, uh, the, this triangle. This is uh, the procreativity of male part. And the other side, the lower part is the procreativity of uh, female part. And in between where they, they meet each other, they mix with each other, uh, they join each other. That is the point which is uh, the creation of universe. Creation of universe. Just see, have we ever thought of uh, these things earlier? Perhaps not, never. At least I did not. But see, and then uh, Ahmedabad, Ahmedabad is one of the places. Various people now who are, who are uh, understanding, who are uh, uh, really actualizing the potential of all these things, they are using it uh, as, as the music therapy. So, uh, Damru is associated with uh, God Shiva and uh, Nataraj and Tandav and all these flavors. They do go along with the sound of Damru, right? Okay, then let's talk about the other, this thing, uh, conch. Whom are you going to give it to? Conch therapy? Because if you if you ever see, uh, notice our uh, uh, spiritual uh, art, spiritual painting you'll see that whenever there used to be a god the god krishna used to give a use his um, conch to give a, a, a to spread the feeling of hurray into the whole of the soldiers uh, this thing and all these cycles and the researches they have shown maybe that um, uh, we indians are lagging behind but others are using conch that is shell therapy as, as as the base of their music therapy all these psychological nutrients. Send your name few of them, please. Which are the psychological nutrients? 
Okay. Endorphins and all you said. Sita, yes. yes. Yeah. Or serotonin and all those are your... Yes, Sita, please. Yeah. Oxytocins and all that. The ones okay. that you mentioned some time back. Okay, good. Very good. Uh, and what is oxytocin doing in a way? All those factors which are related with positive emotions, right? Optimism, confidence, uh, enthusiasm, joy, happiness, gratitude, compassion, all these uh, positive emotions, they are the psychological nutrients which give, give us, uh, which put us into a state of psychological immunity, right? And whenever there is a shield of these psychological nutrients, uh, that stress, that depression, that worry, that tension, that fear, that anxiety, they, we, I have a fear, uh, shield with me. Uh, these psychological nutrients, they work as guard. So these, these kind of negative emotions, they, they hesitate in entering and coming near to us. So conch uh, sound, shell, uh, shank ki awaz, it has all those potentials which can ignite psychological nutrients, right? And then just see, uh, American Music Therapy Association, it is the, these are the findings by American Music Therapy Association. What does Shank do for us? Calming the mind and body, clearing, toning our uh, throat and lungs, asthma, then stuttering, stammering, this is all being uh, improved, thyroid disorders by uh, creating the level of thyroxine, whether this is hyper or hypo, this is being re regulated by uh, conch therapy. Metabolism, heart rate, digestion, muscle control, brain development, uh, even the health of our bones. And this, just see how much is uh, conch therapy doing. And then there is conch mudra therapy also, where um, uh, this mudra is made of conch uh, uh, structure. And then uh, uh, your client is supposed to visualize as if he's sitting next to a flowing uh, river or somewhere in the greenery, in the jungle, or somewhere near the, uh, near the sea. And this uh, conch mudra itself contributes to the, um, to the... So, see, almost all physiological measures, they are being fantastically regulated and modulated by conch therapy. And then, of course, uh, as uh, it has been uh, already said by Manjula that uh, Fruit, you can you can experience these things with you. The fruit uh, therapy, uh, there are so many associations who are using fruit therapy. Uh, now, this is something very, very important. Very important. Now the question, viewers, please be ready with your unmuting this thing. Why is, this is the answer of what we have been discussing till now, right? Why is, uh, fruit not given to God Shiva? Why is Damru not given to Lord Vishnu? Why um, uh, conch is not given to Lord Shiva? Why um, uh, Veena is not given to Lord Krishna? Why uh, uh, Tambura is not given to Shivji? Like, these are the questions. These are the questions. And our role is very important. We, what may be the reason? What might be the reason? And that is what the conclusion of music therapy is. Okay, unless and until you match the things. Like suppose you would have given fruit to Shivaji, uh, Lord Shiva, what would have been the condition? Or just giving Tamaru uh, to Vishnu Bhagavan. We, we, we are finding it difficult to visualize. Or giving Veena to Krishna Bhagavan. Finding it, yes, Jeevan wants to say something. Yes, please. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah I, I think uh, every instrument has certain personality. Like uh, as a human personality, every instrument also has the personality and uh, characteristics which associated to that particular God. God right. is there or not is uh, like abstract, mm -hmm. but the meaning, the, the purpose of the instrument, which is like easily, even, easily we can able to connect it to that particular God because of their personality and that particular uh, instrument personality. 
and the music also uh, makes me uh, into the realistic feeling that this is possible it's not like we are imaginary because we have different instrument in front of us and every music giving different kind of emotion and cognitively it's giving so every thing is like is uh, when playing dambru when playing flute is completely different category of uh, frequency right sound frequency which is uh, there so i think yeah so uh, that this is what yes 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 jeevan you are very right uh, so what is the nature of instrument telling us about it is telling us about what is instrument this is music therapy and what is lord shiva is the personality is the is your client and then uh, like what what would happen suppose we give veena to shivji shivji is known for the tanda what will you do with veena right so that is that is suppose your um, your um, client is uh, at the level of uh, let's say lord shiva and you are giving him uh, veena so what would be the case let's suppose your um, client is uh, krishna and you are giving him dambru what would be the case right so uh, that is why like the, the, that um, the matching the matching the matching complete matching is a must and that is the that is the base of music therapy otherwise we would say we have really designed a very good music therapy session but uh, things did not work as somebody raised the question yesterday also that pilot is something very very important and pilot would will, will tell us Hey, dear madam or dear jeevan ji you have given um, conch to uh, narad ji what would narad ji would do with conch right so these uh, shiva or krishna or vishnu god uh, goddess uh, saraswati narad all the, all these characters they are different personalities they are different clients and these instruments are the music therapy sessions so they have been designed in such a way that the characteristic of lord shiva it goes with dambru only it does not go at all with veena but saraswati ji's um, character the personality the mood state uh, uh, the self concept of saraswati ji it does not match at all with uh, with any other thing but veena right so that is whenever you design always keep this slide into your mind that um, conch is given to vishnu ji only and fruit is given to krishna ji only Uh, Veena is given to Saraswati ji only, and there is no confusion. But suppose any confusion is carried out here, it will it will um, uh, not uh, be uh, valid as far as the uh, efficacy of music therapy is concerned. Okay. Uh, uh, one thing which is very important is sensory stimulation therapy, uh, which uh, I in fact. Uh, Uh, we can touch upon here but we'll meet some other uh, some other time whenever you are free we can meet again also sensory stimulation therapy says that um, music is uh, as we have already seen the chanting of uh, mantras they have the power to ignite to activate the whole brain as such right but uh, otherwise music says that uh, you design there are two things on Two, two things now, and I was discussing with Krishnan sir before we started our session. Uh, there is a there is a, somebody who is uh, uh, traveling in a bus and putting earphones, and music is doing powerful job for him. No no doubt about it. Somebody is jiving uh, uh, and always putting earphones, and music must be doing uh, do dopamine and some other uh, job for him. There is no doubt about. It. But once we do talk about music therapy it is a professional relationship between a therapist and the client and the professional relationship and one thing more also like which i have designed and i have uh, i have experienced myself and i am advocating it and a couple of my clients are doing that also uh, you can be your own therapist also as far as music therapy is concerned you can be your own therapist now what is required here Uh, i made a uh, uh, sensory stimulation situation where i try to uh, stimulate all the five senses together not just auditory auditory visual a tactile then touch and then smell all the five along with the uh, music therapy when all these uh, sensory stimulations are activated it gives you the optimal experience of music optimal experience optimal most experience of music right and uh, 
for uh, for any music therapy session uh, these things are very important these things are very important because what happens um as as soon as you pick up your pen right as soon as you pick up your earphone uh, you are trying to put it that dopamine and oxytocin they start releasing there's no doubt about it but once we are talking about a therapeutic relationship make sure that these things are always there this is the final setting which you have designed for music therapy select music individualized need what is the uh, nature what is the piece of music which is needed then choose proper place if possible let, let us go to the greens if not you can go to your terrace if not you can go to your room some secluded place if not uh, just go along with some live plant with you so choose proper place where you can be with you for as long as you can be with you or you can be with your fan proper temperature bahut high nahi bahut low nahi lights they should be dim so that cognitively you are not distracted by other things dim lights are there switch off the mobiles keep them as away as possible and uh, there should be a comfortable couch your comfortable chair or comfortable cushions or comfortable bed whatever it is and one the, the, this thing which is very very important without which no therapy would do that is once you are putting yourself or your client into that situation uh, you have to create this impression you have to create this feeling you have to create this cognitive this thing in in him that now uh, this is the purpose which you have uh, you are being put for that means the final setting creating it infrastructurally and then psychologically it has to be carried out mindfully and purposefully that is that is uh, otherwise music is powerful in any role but in therapeutic condition it, it this is something very very important purposefully means what is the purpose it has to be conveyed to your um, counseling goals mindfully that means you yourself are working on you it's not just that everything is taking place so uh, that is the uh, final setting which you decide for yourself yes jeevan wants to say something i think the volume also has to be set it right ma'am we also said it yesterday i think yesterday so, before volume has to be by listening by listening to the music we can have okay. it the right volume uh, somebody will uh, uh, keep volume very high uh, so something exactly. like that exactly exactly that can always be added here that uh, pitch and volume right rather both the things are important they they, they have to be uh, they have to be serene kinds serene because music is a is a it's a soft situation right kuch bhi loud cheek chilla it will it will it will it will in the long run not do that it's a serene kind of like quiet calm and then getting energy out of that so that is it is to be done mindfully and purposefully and then of course we'll we'll i i will just say two three lines and then i'll wind up lots of empirical evidences are there there's no doubt about it but um, the music therapy starts when the child is in the womb of his mother just by connecting himself listening to the mother's heartbeat what can be what can be uh, more deep origin of music than this and of course there are various uh, folk music forms and all but lala bai uh, just see the just one child just put a little uh, tapping on him and then uh, he, he goes to sleep still do you need any empirical evidence to prove whether music is uh, and needs to be researched and research of course from a scientific point of view they are always there so i am going to play the last video uh, and here dear viewers please don't sleep right but this is this is having uh, my uh, favorite lullaby just see the rhythm see the melody and see the lyrics also and the kind of uh, the kind of uh, environment i have tried to create to that uh, slide and suppose it is lcd projector and, and uh, me and you both of us are sitting i am your therapist you are my um, uh, let's say client and then if, suppose it is played on uh, lcd projector with the, on a bigger canvas i think it will hardly take a couple of seconds in, in uh, going to a deep sleep right 
So dear viewers, now be ready to experience it, but please do not sleep. session uh, empirical and uh, experiential both uh, i wind up here so yes my dear colleagues please uh, let us come for the discussion satya mama go ahead with your video yes uh, ऑफ़ is there any pre recordings available otherwise ready made recordings that is if for depression you can apply this uh, music uh, is there any resources are available in the net or somewhere can we get it madam that is example if the anxiety uh, this music is we can play it uh, for depression this and for this uh, personality pro person we can apply this type of music <laughs> like that any recordings available because okay. i don't know anything about these rocks and all you said some of the rocks names and all i don't know anything about that okay okay uh, sathi baba ma'am uh, you need not know about the ragas theek hai you need not be efficient in music uh, not at all but the thing is that what we were talking about in the last three days it was all about the uh, the music therapy as a professional setting as a professional so uh, when we say as professional that means there is some individualized goal which we want to achieve through through music therapy so when 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 some specific individualized goal is there then we need to uh, evolve our own music um, therapy design right but suppose you want it for general purpose then uh, there there are many more things which are available you can just uh, give up uh, click to the google and google will uh, make everything available for you but yes sis you said that you are in the in the school i suppose and dentist also right so uh, exam anxiety then academic stress and then uh, all these things are uh, music is contributing very fantastically to these things so uh, then you can do and then you can always contact me uh, if you will tell me about this specific requirement that this is the case so well, i would be able to uh, find out the exact uh, individualized need based uh, musical uh, otherwise uh, uh, google is full of them just just put your um, uh, this thing why because it is it is the personality you will have to explore a little okay, what kind of uh, characteristics that person for whom you are going to use music therapy it is then you need to have the little background factor also uh, this stress is just a temporary factor or he is uh, have, having the stressful personality uh, then uh, it is during the exams or during any academic so, so couple of uh, 
focal factors which are important which you need to find out before you, you decide so uh, i'll always be there for uh, any kind of this thing but uh, otherwise you can just uh, uh, um, uh, depression uh, music therapy for depression uh, youtube a uh, new youtube will give you the things but that 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 is again uh, workable but not highly functional that's that's not that effective right so that's okay, and another question is uh, in the uh, therapy session how long you will play the music madam actually usually session will go for 45 minutes so in that uh, how long and how many sessions it will go according to the need of the client otherwise what you will do uh, of course individualized needs are always there but you will have to just create that kind of um, uh, musical environment right so like uh, even for counseling also suppose we are going for a general counseling general therapy so it's, it's we cannot say that 40 minutes will take place maybe that 40 minutes we are not able to pinpoint anything so we have to accordingly we have to structure another session the th third session but ideally i would say if everything is already done and structured and the background information everything is there with you so uh, i think 40 45 minutes 45 minutes uh, that would do because that has to create that aura in the psychology of your client that music has to take some time to enter inside it is not just switching on switch off it will take like uh, even, even uh, when i i uh, i showed these uh, uh, small slides for a couple of seconds i used to create that preconditioned in the in the mind of my viewers that this is what we are going to say uh, there will be this thing that, that uh, the composition will be like this but please do not sleep but i i'm sure that you will so why am i saying doing these things i am creating that arousal level why because i cannot afford putting anybody for 40 minutes on on any but i have to create the 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 impact of that slide also so some way verbally i am trying to create that arousal so that my colleagues are aroused ki yes and arousal plays a very important role it creates the mental state it makes you ready and that is why when we design um, not only music therapy any therapy session mindfully and purposefully this is to be conveyed to your uh, your client time and again that this is the purpose you are setting for then uh, set, uh, soon he starts working on himself and this is the purpose i am setting here for he starts working he gives command to his own uh, um, physiological psychological uh, emotional um, um, structures that this is the purpose you are setting for and then every function uh, every structure starts functioning accordingly okay okay ma'am thank you and uh, do we give that uh, recordings to the home also ma'am uh, to the clients otherwise only the session it only the music play ma'am otherwise do we give uh, uh, do we give the uh, play the recordings to the home also to the clients ma'am otherwise yeah ma'am i do i do i do but uh, uh, for that i do a little pre exploring kind of things and then i do design also uh, because uh, mine is a combination of uh, uh, rhythm melody psychology harmony all four things together so i design also keeping in view the uh, personalized needs uh, situational needs of my client uh, the, the background counseling information and then uh, we may design yes this is this is the thing which is going to because then that affects the efficacy of your music therapy the the deeper you work on the background information the deeper you prepare you take those things into account more efficacious and effective the counseling session would be the music therapy session would be right because that slide i i i always um, uh, find that very fascinating ki different personalities and different instrument why is that personality given that instrument why not the other personality given that instrument because it is not just putting up any instrument and giving it to any personality that personality the characteristic the nature the physique the functions the goal of that personality that this should match with the uh, with the functioning of this musical instrument that is what the, the no, my question is ma'am okay okay thank you ma'am thank you yes. shilpa okay. please go ahead with your question hello hello ma'am hello can you hear me hello 
Yeah, yeah, you are very much honored, yes. Shilpa. Yeah, ma'am, I'm Shilpa from Madurai, and I'm okay. so grateful and thankful to part in the section. And uh, yeah, yeah, ma'am. Now my question is: uh, Is that like uh, uh, you uh, you are uh, like uh, all the traders? What I felt uh, the music is about uh, rhythm, uh, ragas, and vibration, and all those things. What you are saying. uh is that you have been any uh, any time you have been with a client who are uh, have the law uh, i mean uh, the the uh, client which is uh, uh like if, if they have a loss of hearing or loss of like uh, they uh, uh, in in a trauma they they might have uh, lost their vocal things and all those things and if if even maybe uh, some people have that uh, uh disabilities of hearing all this you have any uh, case history or something else which uh, if the client is interested in the uh, thing of uh, music therapy uh, how you are like uh, deal with that man okay a very relevant question shilpa uh, shilpa i think you were not here yesterday right Oh uh, no, ma'am. I was yesterday. I was in in the section actually. Okay, okay. Because yesterday okay, we yeah. did we did talk about fibro vibro acoustic therapy. Right? What is that? Okay. Vibro acoustic. It is vibrations okay. plus sound. Okay. Am I audible? Okay. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah vibro yeah, acoustic. That vibrations, vibrations, and uh, have you? Uh, Have you sorry. ever seen? Okay. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, ma'am. Just give me a minute. Okay, it's okay. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Robert. Okay, take care of him first. I am here yeah. only. Take to make him soothing and then come back. Right? Take care of him first. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just left him with his um, his daddy. No, no problem. I just yeah. Tell me, ma'am. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So vibroacoustic or the sound therapy, right? It is a part okay. of it okay. is sound therapy. It is a part of music therapy. Many times okay. uh, when there is hearing uh, problem, like that rhythm part, it does wonder because it's not just melody. It is rhythm also, and rhythm is there in the okay. movement. and movement can be visual also movement can be auditory also and yeah I'll, i'll give you one very cool example have you ever seen a snake charmer right snake uh, charmer yeah what is it yeah snake and not here yeah, it can but but he is aroused at the at the rhythm part at the vibration part okay. right so just okay. see when a uh, when, when uh, a snake can get affected by music therapy that effectively what can be the case what can be the how much can be the effectiveness with the human being so what do i want to say that whenever there is hearing problem or any kind of this kind of thing or hearing disability uh, or not hearing due to any other this thing uh, always go for sound therapy always go for okay. vibration therapy because vibration is your um, uh, harmonious balance between mind and body both right so even if this thing is missing that rhythm part just that, that movement part we have talked about movement also we have talked about rhythm also we have talked about vibrations also we have talked about sound also so these things can be made primarily the part of your music therapy and this will do wonder because coming okay, up branches we are advocating more the vibrations part the sound part and i i i shared yesterday also that uh, punch that to sangeet sammelan uh, like uh, it 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 was a very big um, uh, a platform where they they are trying to find out the vibrations of these five elements and all the mm. element each element has its own psychological impact the vibrations they have the, their own psychological impact so we can always design our music therapy package based on them if it is the okay. case carry okay okay thank you Okay. Ma'am, can I ask? Ha, This sure, is Uma. Sure. Yeah, uh, I'm Uma, uh, and uh, I have a question regarding uh, the notes. Uh, I'm basically, uh, uh, I mean, I've tried a lot of experiments with music, being a singer, 
but i don't have the technical background of you know the scientific background of explaining why it has worked and uh, why has it been effective so i come from the exactly <laughs> opposite side so i've uh, seen note, noted a few instances where i'm able to connect to a particular note and uh, by talking to the client i actually generally ask him if uh, you know he, he has specific concerns with a specific region of the body and the emotions related to it because i feel the notes come from specific points so uh, in the body so uh, i'm able to sense a lot of things converse with him have a lot of very interesting conversations where he or she says yes this is how it is and this is how i see it but uh, i don't see any literature that i can go read and uh, you know kind of accumulate my knowledge on it uh, apart from the chakra correlation that i've seen uh, on internet with the notes i don't see much uh, on internet or some any literature that is available so can you help me with uh, more things because i i work more on ragas and what notes uh, have the impact that notes work on them and uh, how with the uh, uh paces different paces the same raga has different impact on the person and stuffs like that so if you could help me with some literature where i can actually substantiate what i'm finding that will be very helpful to me ma'am okay okay uh, uma ma'am you are practicing or you are uh, you are a singer or you are a counselor uh i i'm basically a singer i've been singing for 20 years but i've started counseling recently say 5 years or so so um, okay. i'm slight trying to introduce music into therapy uh, because i i also do a lot of yungi and the unconscious uh, part and i see it has a lot of correlation to music and i'm able to bring out a lot of things from the you know clients talking about it and uh, just by singing something and then them connecting with it but um it is like all in the air no i am not able to get it into kind of exactly uh, exactly uh, yeah. uh, i would tell you you can note down here here and now only uh, uh-huh. there are a couple of uh, uh, like uh, what is uh, sangeet shastra darpan it's, mm-hmm. it's a very informative highly informative sangeet shastra darpan okay the other one is sangeet sangeet shastra darpan right the other book is very very uh, uh, like uh, informative that is sangeet ratnakar yeah right then there yeah. is um, uh, by uh, charan dev i don't exactly remember what is what is the title but uh, the writer is charan dev and this is this has uh, from vedic up to present time it gives, yeah, yeah. gives us uh, chatur dandika uh, is that chatur dandika uh, writer is charan dev so you can always yeah, find out yeah, by the yeah. okay okay yeah is something like sangeet makaran something something like yeah that. i've so, i've heard these shast darpan sangeet ratnakar uh, uh, sangeet makaran okay yeah shast is so you can always consult these books and they they'll give you wonderful um, they'll take you to the wonderful world of uh, intricacies of uh, different things right okay and uh, th- this the nobody should think that in order to be a, a therapist i need to know about uh, ragas and intricacies of technicalities of all these things not at all that's not required but yes if you are keen then you can always go for that since you are a singer and you want that um, uh, whatever songs you are taking up they must be based on some or the other ragas Rag, yes no music is beyond these seven uh, notes notes yes right but which are these notes if you if you are a singer if you have a curiosity to know about that if you are a therapist you have curiosity so it will really um, add to your profession right sure so yes so in, in nothing beyond um, uh, and then one of the point which you have raised is very very uh, valid and reliable that um, there are three saptak saptak is uh, octaves, octaves right? yeah octaves so when is is the, the the lower one the mandra one, madhya the and tara correct right and tara and all these three um, uh, saptak they have their own impact but suppose you select rag surya for let's say for insomnia so make sure that it has to be it has to not to go to um, high yes. note 
because high note will get your um, okay. your uh, subject activated rather than okay. going to the sleep mode so you prefer okay. to be on the lower okay. mode and the and the somewhere the middle one yes but if you are, you have to use rag puriya for some other function for some other goal then it's not necessary so even within rag also it's not just taking up any uh, rag and applying it for any situation even yes. for rag also what is the purpose that is important yes, right? yes. Perfect. There are certain yes. sagas like Yamalar, then Bahar. You can just by the name itself, they they are more fantastic in the in Tar Sapta. But then Ras yes. Darbari and these they are they are lower. more um, beautiful like, lower octaves. Yes. Uh, where you have to relax, you have to make him sleep, you have to give him. So depends. Yes. That is why every time I would say that individualized needs. situational requirements the personal goals these things are very very important sure yep makes sense thank thank you ma'am for the resources and i had one question on the cons okay. therapy that you were saying you were uh, yes. saying uh, is it uh, playing the cons the therapy that you mean where it helps uh, the metabolism heartbeat digestion and all that is it by playing it or is it just by listening yeah very relevant question i think i i missed that point right suppose it is for your physiological measures playing predominates playing predominates your lungs they they get more strong and healthy uh, your hormone secretions they get uh, regulated but suppose it is for psychological nutrients like just play play a uh, play a conch let's say for for couple of second it goes up and then it goes down when it goes up you will feel a different mood state and when it is coming down and then again it is going so these are the waves waves of sounds and they create different uh, emotional and psychological states so once it is for physiological or the or the physical elements or physical purpose uh, it is to be played by the by the person okay. but for okay. psychological this thing it can be both it can be played ha. for Makes sense. Makes sense. Thank you, ma'am. And I, I also <laughs> was observing a beautiful uh, correlation when you said about the personality and the instrument. Like she was uh, talking about uh, how uh, romantic that flute sound was. So I was thinking, probably a relationship, someone who comes with a relationship issue or a flute. Actually, Krishna is a personification. All gods are basically personification of what they actually represent. So. Uh, a relationship is what is the core there and similarly when saraswati we there are too many intellects who come you know you cannot actually ask them to ground in emotions so yeah. in that way you can actually use veena and you know some it, some kind of personality like, that like way like even you cannot visualize uh, god shiva carrying a flute you cannot Correct. even imagine it will not come even in the in your visuals okay just 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 not cognitive consonance does not allow you even Absolutely. to visualize that um, the goddess um, uh, saraswati is uh, holding like the flute never <laughs> right right yes yes so that way good observation nice one thank you so much wonderful uh, sessions man thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so much we will take one more question if it is there then another we will wind up Ma'am, good evening. Anyone left over? Yeah. Ma'am, good evening, ma'am. Uh, good evening. Who's this? Subila. Who's this? Subila. Ah, Subila. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Very, okay. Okay. very uh, enlightening session, uh, ma'am. One question I wanted to ask, like I have been, okay. uh, I'm a psychologist, ma'am, and uh, at times when I counsel and uh, uh, with regard to their academic performance, there are students who say that they, when they listen to the music, they are able to study. but in psychology we say that your attention shifts like if the music is very high and it is attractive at that particular time you shift your attention there then you come back and i just wanted to know that really music does help in their learning okay okay that is, that is my question ma'am yeah subila uh, one thing uh, like there are two three facets of the this uh, the answer to this question number one last to last year is uh, aspirant who cleared is he was interviewed and said that music used to be a constant part of my preparation right 
and he is an experiential person he has experienced it and he said why he says that all outer distractions they could uh, they could distract me but that uh, background music which is soothing but not making me cognitively distracting right depends the nature of music uh, all uh, intermittent voices sounds outside which may distract you which may break your attention concentration but you have played a, a constant uh, uh, non distracting kind of uh, uh, low audible uh, music in your background so these uh, outside distractions are not affecting you and your own created music is uh, uh, that music which is not cognitively uh, disorienting you taking you from your academics number 1 number 2 music does play a very important role in academic performance why because um, whenever our academics are hampered much of the time it is due to the academic stress anxiety due to due to small small worries about our performance due to parental expectations about academic like different factors contributing to the stress factor and stress um, level of stress it further Um, makes your uh, uh, academic performance down so music you give couple of sessions to your uh, 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 student who is high on academic stress and uh, uh, designing this session make sure that music has to be uh, that which which releases dopamine which releases uh, uh, serotonin and which re- releases endorphins because it's not just any any music is not going to create all these things neurotransmitters so make sure that dopamine dopamine is cognitive attention but uh, distracting him from the outer distraction because it is a pleasurable activity it is going to give confidence so make sure that these things are taken into consideration whenever you design but cortisol level of your subject has to go down then only stress level will be regulated and then he will be able to uh, address his studies Uh, ma'am, one question. Actually, yes. uh, we're talking about uh, all this music therapy uh, with the perspective of like individual, uh, right? Can we also do it in a group therapy, like able to like in a classroom if there are thirty people, thirty uh, students? So it is able to do it in a classroom settings where we can do, we can able to right. design it for group also. Yes, a very very relevant question. Most it is done in the in group uh, sessions, but then the thing I suppose there are ten people in the group. Sure that their individualized goals. They are the group goals. ठीक है. They are they are the group goals. And then uh, uh, like movement therapy, movement therapy. Most of the time it is played in the group only. It is played in the group. So uh, you can always use these therapies in in the group. But make sure that the group uh, people or the clients who make up this group, they have the Uh, their individualized personal situational goals they are almost um, matching with each other if one's goal is going somewhere other other one is it, then group putting them in group will not do but if it is there that they are matched in their individualized goals group is preferred because then they watch each other each other doing the things so then uh, observing each other the social learning models the cognitive model of bandura it says that it gives them uh, direct as well as it gives them vicarious um, uh, learning also right so you can always go for please do can you get your contact yeah. number I, i i will get it yeah, we, 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 i'll be sharing i'll be sharing Uh, would the slides also be shared, uh, sir? The PPT. We said uh, we will be sharing. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, shall we wind up? Uh, th- yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you very thank much. You. Wonderful session. Yes. Thank yeah, you, ma'am. Same thank here. You. I enjoyed being with all of you. I really learned a lot. It was uh, both ways interaction. So all these uh, lovely faces they really contributed. to me also that it was both ways right hello okay then uh, bye bye okay thank sir you. thank you thank you ma'am thank you thank you sir vandra it has been you know 3 days uh, you know how we uh, just went like this and you know so much of learning 
and uh, whether you are um, you have music background or uh, non music background uh, and with the therapeutic uh, background it, we have learned a lot and um, and you know we will be trying to put into practice and those who are experienced in music you know they will have a different level of uh, using the music in their uh, uh, therapeutic uh, interventions uh, thank you so very much and uh, friends you know we will be uh, sending the certificate uh, by mail and um, how you have registered the same name will be there because you know we have said uh, you know you have to it has a certificate how you need it you know it should have been like that but uh, i I, not, I i hope you have entered like that so the certificate will be coming in that manner thank you very much we will catch up with you with the yet another um, uh, workshop which is coming next week we have something called uh, for uh, brain comes that is pre marital counseling uh, um, uh, workshop is there uh, it's a two day program and also uh, we will be uh, doing you know uh, counseling in a micro skill model uh, counseling uh, skills in micro skill model that the two workshops are there on uh, in the next week so we will be sharing the uh posters so you are welcome to join you can please do share with people so that you know they are also get uh, you know uh, knowledge and you know they will have good experience and the people who have attended our program they know the the quality of uh, uh, the quality of uh, uh, their resource people you know we ensure that you know we when, because we are running it in all our programs are short term programs only when we are having live programs we have two day program or three days program so we are continuing in that manner that will be two full days to be so even then those people who are, and we are trying to give that except a little bit of that missing of uh, practicals rest of the things are happening in the sessions so uh, you will have uh, great experience uh, and you know great knowledge sharing so please do uh, join you are welcome to join and please do share the posters with your friends so that you know they also get benefited thank you very much uh, good good evening have a great uh, weekend thank you thank you sir thank, thank you. you thank you thank you sir thank you thank you Thank you. Thank you.